Hello, my name is Tomasz Jaszek, and in this video I will present a solution to Muadib's challenge powered by Codility. In this challenge, we are buying public transport tickets. We know exact days on which we'll be traveling, so the idea is to buy a set of tickets, paying as little as possible, choosing from different types of tickets which are available. Let's look at some examples. Suppose we consider a period of 14 days, and we will be traveling on days number 2, 5, 6, 9 and 11. There are three types of tickets available, 1-day ticket with cost 2, 7-day ticket with cost 7 and 30-day ticket with cost 25. If we decide to use only 1-day ticket, we would need 5 of them, so the total cost would be 10. We can try to reduce this cost using different type of tickets. Of course, it's not good to use 30-day ticket here, because the cost of 25 will be much higher than 10. But we can try to use 7-day ticket. However, we must be careful on which days we use certain tickets. Starting from the 7-day ticket on day 2 will require us to buy additional two 1-day tickets. Therefore, the cost will be 11. A better solution would be to use 1-day ticket on day 2 and start the 7-day ticket on day 5. This solution has an optimal cost of 9. The good method for solving this kind of optimization problems is dynamic programming. The idea is to calculate RIDP, where dp of i is the minimal cost of buying tickets for day i and subsequent days. We'll write a recursive formula for calculating dpi. First of all, if we don't need to travel on the i day, we don't need to buy a ticket for this day, therefore we can just use our solution for day i plus 1 and subsequent days. Therefore, in this case, dp of i is just equal dp of i plus 1. On the other hand, if we are traveling on the i day, we need to buy a ticket for this day. And since it's the first day we are traveling, we can buy a ticket which starts at this day. If we buy a ticket that covers k days, then the days number i, i plus 1, up to i plus k minus 1 will be covered. The first uncovered day will be i plus k. We need to take the minimum over cost of the ticket plus dp of i plus the duration of the ticket. Since we have only three types of tickets, we can write down this explicitly using their costs and durations. We also need some initial conditions for our recurrence, and we just say that cost of buying tickets for days in which we are not traveling at all is just zero. The answer to the problem is dp of 1, and the time complexity is proportional to the maximum element in the RIA. Let's look at the implementation. First, let's define the length of our RIDP, which will be a maximal element in A, plus 30, which is a margin that will allow us to consider 30-day tickets safely. Next, we initialize RIDP and also RIA, in which we'll be storing whether in a certain day we need a ticket or not. To fill this RI, we just iterate over RIA. Now we are ready to write a loop which fills the RIDP. We'll be looping on this RI in decreasing order. If we don't need to buy a ticket on day i, we just say that dp of i is dp of i plus 1. Otherwise, we take a minimum. And as the answer, we return dp of 1. OK, we can run this code. It runs successfully on the sample test case, and it will get 100 points when tested by Codality. For additional challenge, you can think how to change this algorithm in such a way that the total time complexity will be not O of max of A, but O of length of RIA.